you know, climate obviously is important. It does change. There's very little evidence that humans are making much impact. And uh, as far as CO2 is concerned, which is the major focus, that's probably more good than bad. CO2, you know quite a bit about it. Yeah. Is it all negative? And if not, then what are the benefits? Well, I think the main benefit of CO2 is it's uh, the food for plants. Plants really need three things. They need light for photosynthesis. They need water and they need CO2. Plants are made of carbon. You know, when I hear about carbon pollution, you know, we're all made of carbon. Plants are made of carbon. People are made of carbon. You know, your hamburgers made of carbon. But CO2 uh, is used by plants. If you go to a cornfield, for example, in midsummer, and you measure CO2, it's about half what it would be at night because the corn plant has sucked so much CO2 out of the air that it's now limited on how fast it can make new sugar and grow by the amount of CO2. So if you double the CO2, the corn can grow better. There's more of it there. It doesn't suck it down so quickly. So that's number one, is it's an essential plant food. And the, the other thing is it's, uh, it gives drought resistance to plants. Because a plant has this problem that when um, it gets CO2, it doesn't suck it up from the roots. It has to open up little holes in its uh, leaf, and so CO2 molecule bounces around and other air molecules gets into the hole. For every CO2 that goes into this hole, a hundred water molecules may diffuse out from the interior of the plant. So the plant is squandering water as it's trying to, you know, make food, you know, from photosynthesis. So if you look at, say, a gram of sugar, to make a gram of sugar takes a hundred grams of water, you know, so there's huge amounts of water used in photosynthesis now, more than should be because we're essentially in a CO2 famine. If you look at the- We're in a CO2 famine. Famine, famine. We have too little CO2. <laughs>